Today I have a mic battle for you between these budget mics right here, the Fafine K037B wireless microphone system versus this Alvoxcon wireless mic system. Who will win? Now both of these systems have some similarities. Both of them come with headset mics and also uh, lavalier microphones. So let's get straight at it and go to the first mic test in the field under noisy conditions. So now I'm doing a microphone test with the Fafine mic right here. Now I have the Alvoxcon wireless microphone system on right now. Have the lapel mic on. I'm in a super, super loud area. I'm standing right next to I-5, the Interstate 5 freeway, and it is so loud here. It's also kind of windy up here too. It is, it is like ridiculously loud. Can you guys still hear me out there? Can you even hear me? Right now you are hearing the audio coming straight from my camera. I'm currently recording this with a Sony A6500. So there was the first mic test in the field. What did you think? Now the winner of this mic battle today will be determined in the comments section of this video. So during the mic tests and whatnot, go down to the comments section and tell me which microphone do you think is superior and the best. So the one that has the most comments and also the most like comments will win this mic battle today. So now I'm testing out the Fafine headset mic right here. How does this microphone sound? What if I kind of move around like this? How does it feel on my head when I do that? I'd say for the most part, you know, right now it's staying on my head. You know, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off. So now you are hearing my voice on the headset mic included in the Alvoxcon wireless microphone system. And for the most part, it feels like this mic is pretty snug fitting on my head. So now I'm going to tell you some of the main differences between these mic systems. So on this side right here is the Fafine system and then right here is the Alvoxcon system. So to give you a comparison between the transmitters, the Alvoxcon transmitter is significantly smaller than the Fafine transmitter and then the same goes with the receiver as well. Now one very notable difference on the Alvoxcon receiver right here, I can adjust the volume which is a super important feature to have in a wireless mic system, whereas the Fafine uh, transmitter does not give you the option to adjust the volume. Now, both of these systems you can attach to a camera, but there is a huge difference. So uh, the Alvoxcon system right here comes with this little attachable cold shoe mount that you can put on the receiver, and so then you can just plug it in the camera, and it kind of looks something like this. You can also attach the Fafine system to your camera, but here's the big difference. If you take the Fafine receiver and you put the audio cable on it that comes with the Fafine system and attach it to your camera, this one does not have a cold shoe mount or even just a quarter inch jack that you can attach to a tripod. So uh, if you do attach this to your camera, there's a chance that this system could just be dangling off to the side. Also, I did make more detailed reviews about each of these mic systems, so I do recommend checking those out as well, which you might be able to even click somewhere on the screen to do so. But we are not done with the microphone tests. I do have some more tests. Let's get out in the field and see how far these mic systems can go. I have the distance mic test coming up right now. So here we are, I'm super excited. Just got this uh, 330 foot long measuring tape right here to do some microphone distance tests. So right now I have the Fafine K037B system hooked up to my camera. So right now I have the Alvoxcon microphone hooked up to me, lapel mic right here. So I'm gonna do the uh, distance test. So this is what this microphone sounds like about 20 feet away from the camera. This is what it sounds like uh, when I'm standing about 20 feet away from the camera. We are 60 feet away from the camera right now. We are at 60 feet right now. What if I turn my back to the camera? I currently have my back to the camera. Can you guys still hear me when I'm talking? I am at about 100 feet away from the camera can you guys still hear me with this microphone on so we are now at a hundred feet can you still hear me how does this microphone sound at a hundred and forty feet please let me know I'm gonna go ahead and
from my back to the camera. My back is now facing the camera. So now this is 140 feet. So this is what it sounds like at 140 feet because right now I'm at 160 feet away from the camera. How does this sound at 160 feet away from the camera? I'm gonna turn my camera just like this. I'm going to turn back around at the 160 foot marker. This is 160 feet away from the camera. Can you still hear me? I am now at 180 feet away from the camera. I am now at 180 feet. Just reach the 200 foot marker. So so this is 200 feet away from my camera. Now we are at 220 feet. We are now at the 220 foot marker right here. How does it sound? This is 240 feet away from the camera. We are at the 240 foot marker. So we are now at two All right, we are now at 260s. 280, 280, what can I say? 280. This is the 280 foot marker, so I'm about 180 feet away from the camera. We are now at 280 feet away from the camera. How does this sound? Wow, we're almost approaching the big 300. Let's see. We are now at 300 feet. 300 feet away from the camera. Can you guys still hear me at this distance away from the camera? 300 feet. I'm waving my arms. Can you guys still even see me? I'm gonna turn my back to the camera. This is what it sounds like when I turn my back to the camera at 300 feet. Okay. So there you have it. There was the mic distance test. What did you think? Now there is some differences between the mic inputs on the transmitters. So if we look at the Alvoxcon system first, uh, basically it has a 3.5 uh, millimeter jack right there. So I'm going to plug this mic in there. And what's nice about this is this little metal piece here I can twist to kind of help lock that microphone in place so it doesn't necessarily fall out as easy. Now if we look at the Fafine system, it has more of that mini XLR connection right there which I can just plug straight into the top here. And if I push it all the way in, it also can uh, somewhat lock into place, making it harder for that microphone to fall out. Also, both of these systems right here, I counted 20 different channels that you could change to. Here's a closer look at the differences between the headsets. Here's the Fafine headset right here. And then here is the Alvoxcon headset as well. So here's a look at the lapel mics for these systems right here. Here is the Fafine mic, and then this is the Alvoxcon mic. Now, if you plan on using this system with your phone, the Fafine system right here, you're definitely going to have to get an adapter cable to plug into your phone. Uh, whereas the Alvoxcon system, it actually comes uh, with the audio cable that has a TRRS connection, which you can plug in a 3.5 millimeter jack on your phone, uh, which is super, super nice. So it actually comes with that TRRS cable right there. Now, if you don't have a 3.5 millimeter jack on your phone, then even with the Alvoxcon system, you're gonna have to get the appropriate adapter cable to make that work. The Alvoxcon system also comes with this little mini TRS adapter, which you can connect to the TRRS cable so that you can plug in and use this on your camera. Another big difference between these systems is that the Fafine system takes batteries, so uh, AAA batteries and AA batteries, and the Alvoxcon system is rechargeable via USB cable. Now, last but not least, there is one more mic test I wanted to do with both of these mics, and that's the obstruction test. Now I have the Alvoxcon wireless microphone system hooked up to me with the lapel mic here, and I wanna do the obstruction test and uh, see how it sounds when I uh, stand behind some of these trees right here. So I'm gonna try this tree first. Okay, so now I'm behind this tree. Can you hear me behind this tree? How does it sound? How did it sound right there? So now we're gonna go over to this tree right here. Uh, how does this microphone sound anyways? Okay, so now I'm behind this tree right now. Can you still hear me when I stand behind this tree right here? Wow, some amazing bark on this tree. Okay, I'm gonna keep going back, but let's go to this tree over here to the side right now. 
Okay, here we go. How does it sound? Okay, right now I'm behind the next tree. This is the third tree. How does it sound standing behind this tree? Let me know how that sounds. Now here I am in this lovely park. I got the Fafine wireless microphone system hooked up to me right now, currently using the lapel microphone. And I wanna do an obstruction test. As you can see, there are all these trees. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand behind some of these trees and I wanna see if you can still hear me. So I'm gonna start out with this tree. Okay, I got behind this tree. Can you still hear me while I'm behind this big tree right here? How does this sound? Do we have any drops? I'm currently testing to see if I can go behind some of these trees without the microphone dropping. It's okay, how does this sound? So I'm now behind the second tree right here. Okay, okay, how does this sound? Okay, let's go ahead and try this next tree over here as I go to this next tree. All right, how does this sound right here? Okay, now I'm behind the tree. Can you still hear me this far away from the camera? This will be interesting to see how that sounds. So there you have it. There was the final mic test in the field. Who won today's battle? Fafine K037B wireless microphone system versus the Alvoxcon wireless microphone system. Yes, you are the judge of today's battle. So if you go down to the comments section, the system that gets the most positive comments and also the most liked comments will win today's battle. So go down there and share your opinion in the comments section below. I also have separate reviews for the Fafine system and the Alvoxcon system. I also have other mic videos on my channel as well. So that's it for the battle today between the Fafine K037B versus the Alvoxcom wireless microphone system. Yes, thank you so much for watching everybody. Until next time.